now that was a giant. He was a level 5 hog deer with the potential to be our first time on hog deer. And I gotta say that even though I didn't pay attention to the estimate, the rack looked pretty decent, I would say he's a guaranteed diamond. Alright, there he is. His estimate goes up to 123, he's massive, considering that the diamond score is 108.6, so we gotta try to drop him here now that he is relatively close. Let's see. Am I used the 243 Cuomo? Oh, he got stuck. Man, I honestly hate when this happens. Yeah, and this is actually not the first time I see this happen on this particular bridge because it is not rare to see animals try to cross it and getting stuck on it. In fact, I'm not even sure if we actually got a viral because he's taking a while to go down and the shot placement on that shot was far from being the best, I would say. Well, fortunately the shot was a viral and this guy will probably be our first time on Hawk Deer. But as I said, I'm not especially happy with the shot placement and especially not with the fact that we had to shoot it while he was stuck. So this was honestly a bit of a bitter sweet moment, but at the end of the day we had to take the chance and now let's see how big it is. 111.32, he's a diamond. Our first time on Hawk Deer. As you can see it was a long chase with a tracking distance of 2.79 kilometers. and luckily even though the shot placement was not the best, it was good enough to hit a single long. Alright guys, I decided to go back to multiplayer with the only goal of finding even more diamonds and rares just for the sake of adding more variety to our trophy lodge. And well, as you can see, here we have the track of potentially the first diamond of this multiplayer hunt, which is a max estimate panting, so we are definitely gonna do our best to find it. And in case it is actually diamond potential, I'ma try to get him using the recurve since I'm yet to get a diamond panting using that bow and I would love to. Alright, there he is. Not really sure if that is in fact a potential diamond. You know, he seems to have one horn bigger than the other, so he may have a chance. But even though I said that my plan was to use the recurve in case it was actually diamond potential, I'ma use the rhino this time because I have my doubts. I mean, I really don't think he'll make it. Let's see. Should be a viral, at least a single long. And now he's down. Hopefully I'm wrong and this bull ends up making it, but as I said, I have my doubts. Although he's surprisingly diamond, 138.22, he made it. Man, it's actually surprising he made it with his weight, 753 kilograms, that's kinda low for a diamond to be honest. And of course, now I regret not using the record from this guy, we're gonna have to find another diamond. A level 9 crocodile. Will he be diamond though? I mean, the estimate is decent, up to 1167, so we cannot be sure, but the odds are certainly good. And I gotta say that this is a golden opportunity to do one of the things I've been wanting to do since the map came out, which is get a diamond crocodile using the recurve. You may remember while well, Ray shot a legendary using the recurve close to the release, but sadly he ended up being a troll, so we're yet to achieve that goal, which is something I really wanna do, and this one may give us a redemption. Alright, he's alert. Roughly 80 meters out. Not the best position, we're still a bit too far to take the shot, but that may change pretty soon because he's getting closer, almost at 65 now. Well, he keeps moving and he's still alert. So the best we can do is to stay here because we don't want to spook him. Fortunately, he's resting again and the best thing is that he's perfectly broadside, which means that we can easily approach him and get close to 40 meters to be able to easily get a double long. Forty-four meters out, he's at Enif. I'm a zero for forty. And let's go for it. Can we hit it over long? Well, I assume that was a viral hit, the shot placement felt decent. And there he is, he's dead. It took a while for him to come out to the surface, which may be an indication that it wasn't a double long, but a single long. I mean, the shot placement seems to be pretty much perfect, maybe slightly a bit too high, but we definitely hit a long because I saw the viral blood. So now let's see if this guy is actually our second time on Crocodile and our first one using the recurve. Alright, he's a 1025.83 diamond, he's a diamond. I'm honestly relieved to see it is actually big enough because the troll crocodiles are relatively common. Now that's a giant. 
finally a level 5 European Bison. He seems to be absolutely massive with a bottom estimate of 123 going up to 134. I'd be really surprised if he doesn't make it. You know, the amount of servers I visited in the last couple days looking for one of these guys is quite insane, so I'm certainly really glad we finally got the opportunity to shoot our first level 5 Trurax, and on this occasion, even though it is completely unnecessary, I'ma do my best to drop this guy using the recurve. The only problem though is that as you can see the wind is blowing exactly on that direction, and we won't be able to get close enough unless we circle the herd entirely and we arrive from behind, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Six teamers out. I still haven't been able to spot it again, but we can be sure that he's around that area. In fact, I think it's that one. I'ma take over here, nice full cover. And well, the one I thought was the 5 is actually level 3. Although there are more over there, and one of them must be the big one. Alright. One of the level 3s is apparently going aggressive, we got too close. Man, those aren't good news. Where's the 5 though? Oh, right there. Okay. I'ma go for it. Let's see. And we hit a barrel. Not too bad. Now, if we can hit him a second time, that would be good. That's it. And seemingly now almost the entire herd is aggressive. Well, I won't complain, we're about to get some easy money. Now let's see a score of this beautiful level 5, hopefully our first diamond Trurax Bison. 131.08, he made it. He is well above the diamond requirement, so it's a pretty decent sized diamond. And about time, several months after the release, we finally have our first diamond Trurax European Bison, with the recurve. Ok guys, now we're on a different server, and this time I came across a track of what may be a legendary red fox. Certainly finding one of these is not the most exciting thing considering how many diamond red foxes I've gotten in the past, but it's still intriguing if we take into account that we're yet to find a diamond red fox here on Emerald Coast. So even though I would choose many diamonds before a diamond red fox, I would absolutely love if this guy turns to be a level 9. Alright, we're reaching a relatively open area where I would expect to finally be able to spot this guy. And in fact there he is. So the question is, is he a level 7, level 8 or a level 9? Let's see. Oh! No way, he's a level 9. Honestly, I was not expecting him to be level 9 since we got a Diamond Red Fox back on May, and the last one before that was on early 2021, which means that we had to wait around a year between our last two diamonds, so definitely finding another one just roughly 4 months after the last one is not too bad. Kinda lucky I would say, considering how rare the legendary foxes are. Okay, there he is again. Can we drop him here? He is less than 100 meters out, so it should be rather simple. I might use the 233 Cuomo, let's see. I mean, as I said, it will be an easy shot, as long as he gives us a good angle, of course. Which is not happening. So we'll have to continue a chase, unfortunately. Now, maybe we'll get a second chance here. Well, I hope. We need to spot him. Come on, where is him? Right there. Oh. Man, I absolutely hate when they speed up like that, it's very annoying. I mean, it's a harmless bug, but it's simply not right. Alright, let's go for it. Roughly 100 meters out. We are zeroed for 100. Can we hit a double long? Yeah, he's down. Finally, it was a long chase. Now, let's see if it is in fact a diamond. You know, the estimate was promising, 13 to 16, definitely a good estimate. And in addition to that, the fact that level 9 foxes rarely ever troll definitely gives us a very good reason to be optimistic. 
14.13 he's a diamond, our first diamond red fox on Emerald Coast. As you can see we hit it overlong at 96 meters after a pretty significant chase of 2.8 kilometers. Not too bad. Is that what I think it is? A light brown saltwater crocodile. You know that is a rare. We got a melanistic the other day and now a light brown, so that is two rares in less than a week. Also surprisingly, just as the melanistic, he's also a level 7, which means that he's gonna be a gold as well. And in case you're wondering where I spotted this guy, we're actually very close from where I got the panting, we got him right here and then I saw this guy right here on the coast. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm gonna get slightly closer to this crocodile to be able to use the rhino. As long as we manage to survive this attack, there's a level 4 aggressive crocodile coming for us. We really can't defend ourselves here because otherwise we're gonna end up spooking the rare. You know, the only thing we can do here is to dodge the attacks and drop the rare as soon as possible. Oh. Let's see. Alright, he's alert. We are gonna take the shot using the rhino. And that should be the long. At least on the first shot. And here we have it, it is in fact a light brown, which is our second rare crocodile ever. And now let's see how big it is, should be gold. 825.09, as expected he's a gold. We hit a double long on the first shot at almost 100 meters and the thoracic vertebrae on the second. Very nice trophy. Look at that. A max estimate Bible row deer. A big level 2. He is unfortunately not a potential diamond since the antlers are not big enough, but it's still a pretty decent sized rare. In fact, there is not the biggest rare road here I've ever seen because my biggest melanistic was also a max estimate, it was a 900 plus in the old scoring system, so it could be considered massive, and I also got a pebble which was similar in size to this one but with the legacy rack. So honestly my luck with the rare Robux has been pretty decent so far, I've definitely gotten some big ones and I really hope that someday we get lucky enough to get a super rare. I mean just imagine how cool it would be to get something like a Bible Diamond Robux. So anyway, as you can see this guy is about 80 meters out, so I'ma switch over to the 243 Ranger and I'ma drop him on the spot. Can we hit the heart? Well I assume we did, he's down. The first trophy of the hunt is a beautiful piebald road deer, a huge piebald. I honestly can't wait to see the road deer getting a remodel at some point since they are one of my favorite species and I would expect them to get one once they get a great one. You know it may take a while but I think we'll definitely see a great one road deer added at some point. Now as for the score of this guy, a 71.57 trophy rating, we hit the heart in a single long, so it is definitely very similar in size to the other Max Semit Bible I got back on 2019, you know it is pretty much the identical Trurax version of that same tier, which is very cool. Alright guys, different session, and I just put it something amazing. You know it's not a melanistic pheasant, nor a diamond bull, but it's an albino European bison, an albino male. It's been more than a year since my last male albino European bison, because I remember getting one while grinding for a melanistic back on early 2022, and if I'm not mistaken, that was my only albino bull so far, so this one would be my second in case we actually manage to kill him and nothing weird happens. You know, the albino European bison is simply one of my favorite rares in the entire game and certainly one of my favorite rares on this map, so I'm certainly really happy about finding another albino, but also because it will be my first rare true Rax European bison. He may not be as big as my other male albino, which I believe was a gold scoring level 3, but the fact that it's a true Rax definitely makes it cool enough to deserve a place on my main trophy lodge. We should have a chance to drop him using the 470 here. Let's see. Okay, I'm just waiting for him to give me a broadside angle. He doesn't want to, so hopefully from this position we'll have a better chance. I'ma get on top of this rock, and let's go for it. He is down, that's it. 
And here we have it, our first rare Trurax European Bison, it is a level 2 and it's gonna be a silver, so it is a fantastic trophy regardless of the low score, as you can see it looks amazing. And honestly, the only complaint I have about this guy is the shape of the horns, because in general I prefer this new Trurax over the legacy horns, except for the small variants like this level 2, because I don't know if it's just me, but I get some monster sync vibes in these spike horns, and that certainly shouldn't be the case, considering that the Trurax are supposed to make the animals look more realistic, and to me this guy sort of looks like a monster from one of the movies. No shot. I'm pretty sure that's Simela. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt about it, that is a level 2 female melanistic make by Goose. We are still yet to see any level 5 yet, but honestly if you ask me, I would undoubtedly choose a melanistic over a diamond every single day. You know, the fact that we have a melanistic as an initial spawn and not a diamond is honestly quite surprising since the melanistics are way rarer than the diamonds. Now, my only doubt here is whether to drop this rare using the Cachatore or using the Recurve. And you may ask, like, why the Recurve is even an option when the Cachatore is obviously a way better choice to drop a goose, but a better question in my opinion would be how many of these melanistics do you think have been dropped with the Recurve so far? I personally haven't seen any. So, potentially being the first to do so is certainly enough motivation to use it on this guy as soon as she lands. Okay, apparently she's gonna land right in front of us, which is amazing. And that's it, she's down. Very simple shot, she landed like 20 meters out, so there was no way we missed that. So I guess that is enough keys for today, I mean we killed like 50, which is not a lot, but it's a good start. And certainly getting this beautiful melanistic is a fantastic outcome for such a short hunt regardless of not being able to get a diamond, although it is an initial spawn. She's a 2.87 silver, we hit her using the recurve for only 10.94 mirrors, basically nothing, and that is our first trophy mech pie, a beautiful melanistic. I think I use a melanistic crocodile. A level 7 melanistic. He just went into a war, but he literally ran right next to me and he was clearly darker than the others, so I would say he was clearly melanistic. Man, that's amazing, those are very rare. I've been trying to find a rare crocodile since the map came out, and this one will be our first one in case it is actually Mela. Now, the only issue is that as you could see, he went inside the water, so it's gonna take a while for him to come out to the surface again, and the only thing we can do is to be patient and stay here. About time. I spent about 10 minutes waiting for him to come out, but he simply didn't want to, so eventually, as soon as I got host of the server, I went back to change the time, and there he is. As you can see, he's a max estimate level 7, so he's a pretty big rare, a monster rare, and now he's alert. So I'm assure him using the 454 Rhino. Should be a double long, he's down. Here we have it, our first saber melanistic crocodile. Not sure how rare these are compared to the albinos and the other rare variations for the crocodile, but I assume they are one of the rarest. He's an 875.02 melanistic saltwater crocodile, certainly one of the best trophies I've gotten so far on Emerald Coast. <laughs> 